Hey, how's it going everybody? It is Josh Thomas here from the BitBlock and I am going to be uh, very, very casually going over some of the new information that we got for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's Battle Mode. In case you don't know, Nintendo recently uh, actually showed off a new trailer for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and, uh, and there was a bunch of information about the Battle Mode. As many of you might know, I am so excited about the new Battle Mode in this game. Uh, I am all about the battle. To be honest with you, playing that online is basically going to be my summertime uh, in the in the late night. So anyways, I thought I would do a very casual video where I just talk about my thoughts on it because my goodness, it's been like a whole day and I haven't even talked about it. I'm very busy making a bunch of other Switch related videos. Those will be coming out very, very soon. But let's just pause for a moment and look over the new screenshots, shall we? Okay, so first up, we know that uh, Woohoo Town is actually making a return. Here is a kind of... Uh, a sky view of the map, this battle map. I think this looks fantastic. I am actually, one of the things that I love about this is we get to see Woohoo uh, Woohoo Island in HD, even though I guess we kind of saw that in Super Smash Bros. 4, but still, this looks great. Um, I like how they actually even kind of redesigned it to be a little bit more Mario themed. I think a lot of the uh, architecture and stuff and the colors definitely give off more of a Mario feeling. Um, by the way, I am just looking at these pictures in a, uh, in a basic, you know, Windows uh, image viewer. Um, so we're just going to zoom in here for a few things. Kind of a little bit of an analysis, I guess, but not really. Um, one of the things that catches my eye about this is, as you can see, you can actually drive into the basketball court, and there's even items in there. Uh, so I think that's really cool. I don't remember if that was in Mario Kart 7 or not. Um, but I also like the little addition of some of the extra details, like the drink machine and the little garbage can there. Um, but overall, this just looks fantastic. I love it. And then you got like the little bowling alley there and it's just, yeah, I, this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite battle maps, but uh, let's move on. Here's another look at it from a kind of a ground perspective. One of the things I noticed here is they actually got rid of the, uh, over here used to be a fountain uh, and they changed the fountain into a just basic little flower bed. I would say that's a downgrade, to be honest with you. I wish it were a fountain. <laughs> um, it's kind of funny, there's a Panera in Florida that I usually go to when I'm there and uh, it's in like the Orlando area. And they used to have an amazing fountain outside of the Panera, and then they shut it down, and they put dirt in it, and they put some plants in there instead. So it looks like the same thing happened here on, on Woohoo Island in the little Woohoo Town map. I don't know. I'm yammering at this point. Um, but yeah, it just looks great. All the details on the buildings and stuff is just looks fantastic. Uh, so I really, again, love this stage. Um, we got the bell archway over here. Uh, one of the things that I also kind of think is cool is they designed this circle centerpiece to be a, uh, a sundial, you know, like a compass or like a north, south, east, west kind of a deal. I think that's neat. A little extra added detail there. Uh, but like I said, this is just already one of my favorite battle maps. I love the summertime. I love tropical things. So uh, yeah, Woohoo Town is absolutely fantastic as far as I'm concerned. Nice and big too. So here's a little shot of the uh, the bob -omb Blast mode, just really quick, showing uh, you know a couple characters doing their thing. This is actually a new stadium, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, so here's a new a new battle map. This one is a dojo. I forget the exact name of it, but this one seems really cool. I like these uh, sort of gobble gut esque dragon statues. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. I noticed that a lot of the battle maps seem to be a battle map version of some of the racetracks. So, of course, we have that, that racetrack that is very, like, um, Asian, kind of Chinese, I believe. I don't think it's Japanese. I think it's Chinese. Um, but yeah, I, I, actually, I think that is Chinese right there. But I could be wrong. Um, but it's interesting how they kind of took this route of let's make a battle map version of racetracks sort of thing. Um, but it looks pretty cool. So this is a better view of the dojo. Um, as you can see, essentially you have this big sort of circular boxy area out here. Great place to battle. Uh, but then there's also ramps on the sides here. One to the left and then one over here onto the right. And uh, when you ramp up them, you go inside of the dojo. So this is kind of a really cool area. You've got an outdoor area and an indoor dojo area. Uh, it doesn't look like you can actually uh, drive beyond this area because there is a barrier out here, um, followed by some gongs. <laughs> So yeah, I, it just looks great. I like this one a lot. Um, random fact, uh, Nick here at the BitBlock, I showed him all eight of the new battle maps. And uh, this is the one that he said he liked the least for some reason, but I think this one looks really neat. Um, uh, so yeah, I mean, I think this looks good. I like it. So far, so good. There's, and by the way, I should point out, yes, there are eight uh, battle maps. Um, I kind of wish there were 10, because Mario Kart Wii has 10, but you know what? Eight is not a small number. Eight does not make me sad. 
Here's another look at the, uh, this is like the actual uh, inside of the dojo. Uh, just really big, seems like it has very high ceilings. Um, and I'm not sure, but it looks like you can kinda, looks like there are some little areas that maybe you can you know, squirm your way into here. There's a ramp back here, so that's interesting. So it looks like the inside of the dojo is not necessarily just one big circular area. Uh, you know, you can go underneath there, you can ramp off there. This looks like it might actually ramp off to the back, right? If you hit that, it looks like you're almost going over it. I'm not sure, it's kind of interesting, because that would lead you to the back of the dojo, and uh, based on screenshots, we haven't been able to see anything in the back, so kind of cool. I like this, I really like the, uh, the centerpiece here the lantern and then the very long kind of ribbon flags going on um, just looks really cool so this is a very interesting one this is a, uh, a lunar base on the moon and so you got a lot of craters that you can do ramps and you can ramp off of and do tricks on uh, it seems like there's a whole lot of items out here on the on the surface of the moon as well um, and then of course you also have this really neat uh, kind of outer space base in a way <laughs> I'm not really sure how much of this you can actually drive into. I think you can drive back behind there. I like how they got these little crates back here that are question mark blocks. That's kind of cute. I'm guessing that's just for, uh, you know, added detail. Um, but you can't... One of the things that I'm really curi uh, curious about is if you could drive through this archway, but I don't think you can because there are a bunch of random toad NPCs just kind of floating around in there in zero gravity. Uh, which doesn't make a lot of sense, because why would they be in zero gravity if they're inside of the space space? That doesn't make a lot of sense, and they're definitely floating in the air, so don't really know what's going on there, Nintendo. Uh, but yeah, this just seems like a really cool base. I think we get a better view of it um, once we go to the next screen. Well, here's like a, a, a view from the, uh, from the ground. Um, but it just looks really neat. It's very cool to have a battle map in outer space. Uh, so here's the better view I was talking about. It seems like you kind of have this separated into two pieces. Uh, again, just like the dojo, you've got like kind of a uh, an outdoor area, and then over here you've got like the actual space station. Although technically, I guess it's they're both outdoors, but yeah, I really like some of the rock structure out here. It's a pretty cool design. A lot of these things look like R2D2 between the shape and the colors. <laughs> I don't know, just kind of reminds me of R2D2. Um, but I'm really curious to know how much of this you can drive up on or drive in, and, and yeah, it just looks really, really interesting. Um, it also looks like there's something down here, which is that like a bumper or something? I'm not really sure what that is, but uh, time will tell. All I know is, and like, can you drive up here? Maybe not. Maybe you can. I don't know. Uh, I, I doubt you can, actually, by the look of it. It looks like you can't really find a way to get up there, but a very cool base. Uh, very cool. Oh, man, they got a rover over here. There's a toad on a rover. Holy crap. Look at all the little details on the stuff on the sideline. This is actually really cool. Got a little toad over here doing something. There's those question mark blocks we saw satellites and all that i would be very very surprised if you can't get in here like in these big domes so we'll see uh nintendo did play this on twitch uh on march 10th but i didn't really watch a ton of it because i didn't want to spoil myself too much i kind of like the idea of uh having my first main big reveal of these being um playing the game itself you know i can see them here but i really want to see what it feels like to drive all around in them um firsthand when i actually have the game so this is another new one. This is a, a Sweets Kingdom, something around those lines. It's obviously like a little tiny kingdom. Uh, this actually looks smaller than what I originally thought it would be. This is one of the smaller new ones, I believe. Um, but it's just made out of tons of uh, sweet treats and desserts, which I think looks great. Again, uh, kind of following suit with the whole idea that I said earlier, where uh, it seems like they just took themes for racetracks and uh, made a battle map out of them. But I'm okay with that because, oh my god, you guys, I just realized something. Ha ha ha! This is actually a stack of pancakes, and they cut it with a knife to where you could go underneath them. There's bananas and whipped cream and, and kiwis and strawberries, ice cream on top, and oh my gosh, this would give you, this this would turn you into a diabetic, I think. Just racing, or battling, I should say, in this uh, in this map. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't be racing. This is a battle map. Can we take a moment to realize how great it finally is to have battle maps? Uh, but this one looks cool. It almost looks like it's kind of a figure eight. Um... I don't think you can get up on those pancakes, but it looks like you can get up over here. You've got these like little multicolored wafers creating a ramp around this main adorable little castle. Um, and then you got <laughs> halves of donuts as little archways that you can drive under over there. Looks like you got a little forest area with uh, candy trees there. We've got some like candy houses. 
Uh, it just looks great. I also like the way they have these little cones, the little upside down cones. Um, they added those in here as well. I like the way the little crackers kind of break off there. That's pretty cute. Um, but yeah, this just looks great. I, I really love the design of this one. I love the fact that I just realized that is a stack of pancakes and that is pretty amazing. Uh, but let's look at some more views of this. So yeah, oh man, there's more pancakes now. Oh, look at this, cool. They got, what is that, like Pocky in a way, I guess? But it's like used to just, uh, just as like a little over trellis kind of a thing when you drive underneath there. That's kind of neat. That's very nice. Lots of cute details in this uh, in this battle map. All of them in general, really. Um, but I just love the look of this, man. This is, this is the, I love also the windmill back here. It has like those little wafer cookies on it for the blades. Oh, there's pretzels there around the windows. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty magical. We've got marshmallows for shingles on the roof. I love it. This looks like it'd be really, really fun to battle in. And, uh... I was pressing down instead of over. Yeah, generally, it's a good idea to know how to use a keyboard if you're gonna make a video first. Again, this is a very casual video. Oh man, look, these are like uh, cinnamon twists for archways. Oh! And then they got like uh, whipped cream on the bottom there to like glue it all together. Fantastic. Very pastel colored, uh, colored map. Oh, and you actually can go, looks like you, there's a top and a bottom to the castle. You can get in the castle there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. I like it. Looks delicious, can't wait to play in it! Uh, okay. Moving on, this is just another shot from the ground. Really doesn't show us much of anything we haven't seen yet. So this is, um, I think we're kind of getting into the modes now. A couple screenshots for the modes, well a few screenshots for the modes. Um, this is, there are actually five modes in the battle mode in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is more modes, more ways to play than any other Mario Kart game before, uh, and that has me so excited. Um, so this is a quick screenshot of the coin runners mode. Uh, basically you collect coins and when you get hit, I think you lose half of your, your coin loot. So it is a, it's a mode that is very intense. I played it quite a bit in Mario Kart Wii's battle mode. Uh, I do like coin runners. It's pretty great. Nothing is better than maxing out on your coins and just feeling really, really scared and paranoid, hoping you don't get hit. Uh, so I'm very happy that comes back. Also, you'll notice Bowser is wearing a crown. Um, the reason he's wearing a crown is probably because he has the most amount of coins, I would guess. Um, I don't really understand why they're not displaying the coins above the characters' heads in this like they did in Mario Kart Wii, so I don't know if they will do that or not, uh, so we'll have to wait and see. This is a screenshot that's just showing you that Gold Mario and Metal Mario Amiibo can be scanned in, and you can unlock their, well, I think it's, uh, it would just be Gold Mario, actually. Uh, you can unlock that character, I believe. I believe that's what it is, because he's not in Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, so I'm assuming this is just they added that in there for amiibo purposes. And Metal Mario, I am fairly certain, is selectable already in Mario Kart 8. I actually hate these kind of characters. I think this is very cheap. It's just a, a sad excuse to try and make it seem like there are more characters than there really are. It's really just changing the texture. It's just a different shader on Mario's character model, but yeah, whatever. It's a little bonus, I guess. Uh, again, there's there's Gold Mario. So this is maybe the coolest darn mode that has ever been introduced to the battle mode in Mario Kart history. Uh, so this is a mode where you, the te you're actually divided into teams. One team is the team of outlaws. You are the mischievous little law-breaking weasels. And then the other half of the, the players are actually the law. They are the police. And as you can see, Toad here is actually, uh, believe it or not, Toad is actually one of the uh, rule enforcers, one of the police officers, if you will. Um, and the police officers, well, for lack of a better term, uh, they have these, the piranha plant item in front of their cart at all times. They even have little, I love the little siren they put up there, a little flashy siren. Uh, basically, it is um, the, the law has to drive around and try and eat the bad guys. And when you get eaten, we can probably skip forward now, you get put into a cage, just like this one, the flying cage. And so as you can see down there, we've got a lot of law enforcement going on with Mario and Luigi. I think this looks amazing. Uh, but uh, yeah, and then you got, I love how in the screenshot, Wario and Waluigi are in prison, where they belong, because they are bad boys, okay? Um, so yeah, you just kind of have to wait in there once you get caught. But you're probably wondering, like, how do you get, how do you get out of it? Well, um, essentially there is a, there's a switch. I don't know if they're gonna show it. Yeah, so there's a switch that players who are still active and haven't been caught by the, by the, by the law yet, uh, if you hit the switch, you just run into it, you will free everybody in the cage. 
Uh, and that's really cool, I think. I think that's awesome. Uh, the cage does appear in random places on the maps as well, so it's not always the one area. And I think there's a limit of like three characters in a cage, so there will be multiple cages at, at, at any given time, uh, depending on how many players are playing. So that makes it a little bit more challenging for the law to make sure that somebody doesn't actually free the naughties. That's what I'm officially calling them. It's Team Naughty versus Team Nice. Um, but what's really cool is there's a lot of strategy there. Like you can see like some people might patrol near the, the cage, near the jail cell, uh, waiting for people to try and free them. I just think this is going to be so much fun. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh. This is so great. <laughs> So uh, another one of my favorite modes is Shine Thief, which is from Mario Kart Double Dash. Essentially, you have to hold on to the shine for 20 seconds. So when you get the shine, you have to run away from everybody else and they have to try and hit you to knock it out of you. And then they grab it and then they try to hold it. I'm not sure if your time will continue to add up the same way that it does in Double Dash, but time will tell, I guess, because this game comes out in about a month and a half. Um, but I'm really happy they brought this back. Uh, this is just a really frantic, fun mode. I love shine sprites because, of course, they're from Mario Sunshine. So big thumbs up to that mode making a return looks fantastic and I think actually that might be it those are all the screenshots I believe so um, I love this I love the battle mode in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe already uh, like I said in the past I just I've played so much of the battle mode in uh, Mario Kart Wii and it was so much fun we played it like in the summertime very late at night like 11 o'clock at night till like 2 in the morning and uh, fun fact, I would actually jog in place while I was playing the battle mode in Mario Kart Wii. Uh, so I was kind of, I was multitasking and I would, I remember just, it was really weird to do that, but very fun. And I, and I just felt like I was, you know, not only having fun with Mario Kart, but also working out. So it was really great. Um, so hopefully I can do that again with this game. I definitely plan on it. Uh, we are definitely going to do some tournaments here at the Bit Block, do a lot of battle mode stuff. But um, Nintendo, you done good. You done good. You fixed the battle mode. You added a bunch of modes. You have some cool stages here, some some actual battle arenas. Them, so that's a good you know improvement. And they also adjusted a lot of the rules and the controls and just a lot of stuff to make it really good. Um, so I am very happy. Uh, but actually, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking this actually that ramp might lead out to here before. That's very interesting. Definitely going to be playing these a lot and. Uh, and giving you guys a tour or a walkthrough of all this stuff when Mario Kart 8 Deluxe comes out. Hey, thank you guys very much for watching this very casual video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, again, this wasn't really much of an effort video, but I did feel the the dire need to talk about all these awesome battle modes and battle maps with you guys. Um, but yeah, keep it locked right here to the Bit Block for a lot more coverage on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We'll be playing it on the fold. Uh, I will probably be live streaming some tournaments with you guys, and I will definitely be reviewing this game. So um, lots of great stuff to come uh, for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, as well as all things Nintendo Switch. I will see you guys later. Bit, 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 bit.